now sleepless night for tinumbu <clears throat> what will happen in the next three months revealed by popular cleric Primate Ayodele Elijah, the leader of the AINRI, Evangelical Spiritual Church, has issued a warning that Nigerians are prepared to stage nationwide protests and effectively shut down the country if Tinubu does not address the prevailing economic challenges within the next three months. He emphasized that citizens will not rely on the Nigerian Labour Congress or any other organization to lead these protests. Instead, they will take the streets en masse to voice their grievances against the government i don't know is it not this meeting man they say now only god go feel remove and say now ain't god now ain't go win ha and i always ask that does it mean god does not like us does it mean god hates us i don't understand in a statement released by his media aid oluwatu sinosho ayodele indicated that if the president does not implement effective solutions to alleviate the economic difficulties faced by the Populist, the nation's situation will essentially come to a standstill. Uh, your daily stress that his message should not be seen as a threat, but rather as a divine guidance aimed at averting potential danger and rescuing the country from its current predicaments. According to Ayodele, the next three months, if the economic hardship doesn't end, Nigerians will bring the country to a total shutdown with massive demonstrations and disorderliness. This won't be the usual protest that NLC or TUC organize. Individuals will storm the streets to personally protest and this will make the country stand still for days. Tinumbu should do everything possible to fix the economy. In this to adjust and do all that is needed or needful because the economy hardship will wreck the country and this will affect both the rich and the poor. Individuals will begin to protest. Workers will shun their working place. If there is no adjustment, economic hardship will shut down Nigeria in three months. And this is not a threat. The president should consider this as divine instruction because what I see is not palatable. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Now, wow. Be ready to shut down the nation because that man you see has no single solution of what to do with nigeria when which he grabbed through a milocon way and let me warn you if you are protesting make sure you arm yourselves to the teeth because this milocon man is going to deploy his loyalist in forces to clamp down to clamp you down kachineke miziogu they don't they don't start again the nigeria pastors never see any good vision <laughs> so the situation where they happen now do you need the suicide to tell you so the one way they happen now now good vision you they see now good it's a good omen to you but like seriously some old men are shameless it is you that is having sleepless nights not in Ubu. the that prophet never supported in Ubu from inception and he never hide it because of muslim muslim tickets he predicted victory of highest votes of Fuatiku. <laughs> And the same, I don't tell you, say, nobody can remove him. No, you didn't hear that. You were healing him when he said that. Mm. Do you need anybody to tell you the, the direction you are supposed to go? This man of God said, eh? our so-called leaders do not even care about the masses. So long as they are still money to lose, our senators collected enjoyment allowances last week for their holidays. Why Nigerians are suffering from hunger and deprivation? visit the hospitals and see people crying for lack of money to buy prescribed drugs which are very very expensive uh augmenting use augmenting use for treatment of a broad spectrum spectrum infections is now twenty thousand naira. how about the judiciary should please remove a tinubu sir i think the official work that uh, the lord jesus gave his followers is to preach the gospel of God not to be intervening in the politics. <laughs> Either he has here, let him hear what the spirit is saying. Face the reality you have that is facing you. Leave uh, whatever anybody is saying. Instead of you to face the reality. You already know the reality before he says anything. But you are coming here to tell us uh, whether the assignment give it to him. Uh, whether if he faces his, his assignment, is what he is going to put food on your table. God help us from all these so-called men of God. 
Tinubu a shameful so-called president from the back door. He himself also he knows his feet. This is situation prediction and not a prophecy we are watching. He begged for the job and he has it's it is his turn. Then uh, let him deal with it. Yoruba by God's presidents. I doubt if he will take the warning seriously as our politicians only believe in what they have they have set their mind to achieve and is in this case to satisfy the West in order to get their backing. May God help Nigerians from our selfish and mischievous leaders so far in our reading and bid to fathom the strides of this administration. There is nothing for the common man. <laughs> they show they should know that uh, it is not only the military boys that can unseat the government. There is instances where popular democracies were sacked by masses and we should brace up for that and genuinely legal things are going to they are going out of hands due to our docility our quietness yes things are going out of hand so guys uh, that's just the way it is you don't need to wait for anybody to come and tell you what is happening you know what is happening you can see the projection you can see the trajectory you can see the mindset of these people the ball is in your hands. 